You guys been missing the daily motivation? I gotta bring you guys something today, man. So today I really wanted to talk about, um, don't know what I wanted to talk about. No, I'm just playing. No, um, a lot of thoughts been going through my head lately where um, I felt like I, again, wanted to quit YouTube because I'm not getting the results that I want. But um, gotta just bring myself back to reality when I feel those feelings because those feelings are not the feelings that originate in myself. Those feelings are coming from outside insecurities, from other people's opinions that aren't even necessarily geared towards me, but I may see somewhere else, like online or something like that, or over here when I'm out. And that ties into really mastering oneself and not being susceptible to that negativity that others don't even realize that they're speaking out into the world. And they don't even realize how it affects other people. And really, it comes down to controlling your thoughts and knowing how to motivate yourself. And that's two different topics in itself, but they tie in with one another because, again, when you feel those feelings of, you know, of self-doubt and you want to quit, it's important to control your thoughts and to know how to motivate yourself, knowing what motivates you, knowing what most of all inspires you as well. Because it's one thing to want to inspire other people but what about when you need inspiration what about when you need motivation opposed to you wanting to motivate other people how are you going to motivate yourself and inspire yourself to go out and inspire and motivate other people you need to find that and talking to myself i need to find that and it just comes down to just honestly self-mastery knowing triggers that may make me feel doubtful in myself or knowing triggers that may make me feel very hopeful in myself or make me feel very confident in myself. You got to avoid the things that make you feel the negativity and you have to just drown yourself in the things that make you feel the positivity or the confidence. And that's just, that's just knowing yourself, man. You got to pay attention to yourself. And a lot of people, and I'm guilty of this as well, do not do that. And I'm starting to do that as well, little by little, but, um, it's really a commitment to yourself, learning that about yourself. It's having the relationship with yourself, which is kind of weird sounding, but it's true though. It's it's a relationship with yourself because within you, there's many, there's many, your personality is like a cake and you cut up a bunch of cakes and every slice of this cake is different but you have to know each and every aspect of yourself. You can't ignore one aspect. You gotta taste every single cut of the cake that is yourself. And I'm guilty of this. Uh, I'm guilty of not tasting every cake that is in my personality. And I need to, I need to know myself and I need to realize what gives me a feeling of self-doubt and what gives me a feeling of inspiration and motivation another quick thing i want to talk about was um i'm reading a book well i'm listening to a book i'm not reading it but i'm gonna buy it later on that way my son can have a have a copy of it and he can read it but um it's called um the way of a superior man something like that i don't know why i'm forgetting the name but I, you know it's a really the chapters are really quick but you know each chapter is really um really informative i don't necessarily agree with everything but i think that a lot of the information in the book <clears throat> really um, made me look at myself and man i was you know i really wanted to talk about it but i'm not gonna talk about it that much until the next daily motivation once i read more but um you know it's really helped me look at myself and know like hey you know this particular action that i do sometimes is not superior However, these particular actions I do sometimes are superior. I need to do these things more and do the other things no more. Got to cut out the inferiority of yourself and bring in the superiority into yourself. That way, the, your, your more superior side can come out and you can be who you really are. And it just all ties into one another, man. Everything is just connected, you know. Your superior self has to do with your confidence and not getting self-doubtful and not get in what's the word just not feeling negative about the things you're pursuing and of course it's just not about 
It's about not giving up as well. And I'm, I'm not going to give up. I feel, I, feel like, I feel like it sometimes, but I'm not going to. I can't. I came too far. 1,400 subscribers, almost 15. It's not a lot. You know, it's guys in my niche with millions, hundreds of thousands. But, like, you know, I just never thought I'd have this many. So it's just crazy. So, but, you know, I need to cater to you guys. And I need to, we need to get more on this team. We got to get more of us, more entrepreneurians. We got to get more of us, man. Um, other than that, you know, we're in the merch right now. Original design, gone rogue. Got to represent. Got some business cards coming soon. Going to hand those out to people. What, the QR codes? Can't wait for that, man. But um, this video is long enough. Uh, you know, hope you guys had a great weekend, man. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. Entrepreneur out of here.